The federal government is defending its decision to award $10 million to a company to trial rainmaking technology. The Environment Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, has announced the grant to the Australian Rain Corporation, a company part-owned by Rupert Murdoch's nephew, Matt Hanbury. But researchers commissioned by the National Water Commission to investigate the technology have questioned whether the $10 million grant should have been awarded now, saying a more careful evaluation of the science is needed first. Mr Hanbury himself agrees the science is in no way conclusive, but denies his family connections have helped him secure the federal money. Tanya Nolan has our report. It's a technique developed in Russia in the last decade and it involves sending electrical charges into the atmosphere to make clouds and ultimately rain. But the problem with it, says Neville Fletcher, a visiting fellow at ANU and emeritus professor of physics at the University of New England, is that it hasn't ever been examined in a thorough scientific way, nor has it been peer-reviewed. I haven't seen yet enough evidence to say that... uh, I'm persuaded that it's going to work. The measurements in Queensland showed that there was more rain in the catchment area than there usually was uh, when the equipment was running, Uh, but there was a lot more rain in that part of Queensland (laughs) at that time as well. So it's a little bit hard to say. Uh, It didn't show that the equipment worked, but there was nothing to indicate that it didn't work, so it was a, uh, a possible... Professor Fletcher's conclusions are contained in a report released in August, prepared in conjunction with Ken McCracken from the CSIRO and commissioned by the government's National Water Commission. The report warned the commission not to go ahead with any trials of the technology until the science behind it could be more thoroughly tested. But it did say that if it could be done at no great expense, a trial could be worthwhile. The report was produced after a small-scale trial of the technology was conducted in May in conjunction with the University of Queensland, which concluded there was an increase in rainfall at the time and recommended more scientific testing be done. Environment Minister Malcolm Turnbull has now awarded $10 million to the Australian Rain Corporation, which owns the technology, to conduct a full scientific trial of it. The report commissioned by the National Water Commission recommended a further scientific trial. The University of Queensland went a lot further than that and recommended a very substantial long-term operational trial as well, which would have cost a great deal more than $10 million. What uh, I've endeavoured to do is to ensure that we do we have both a meaningful operational trial and a scientific assessment uh, so that we can uh, investigate this technology in a timely fashion. Professor Fletcher says the money would be better spent in stages rather than funding all the stages simultaneously as the government is doing. My preference would have been first to spend a smaller amount of money doing a careful evaluation of the science and then, if that looked reasonable, to go on to a field trial. Uh, The trouble with jumping in uh, immediately with a field trial in parallel with the science is that the science may turn up things which indicate the field trial ought to be done in a different way. Professor Fletcher's view is supported by the Water Commissioner, Peter Cullen, who was quoted in the News Limited Press as saying he is surprised the full $10 million has been awarded before the first step is taken of seriously evaluating the technology. Chairman of Australian Rain Corporation, Matt Hanbury, says he appreciates that argument and agrees there are some holes in the science. I can understand that logic, but I... I As I said, even when you've worked out the science, how it works, we still wouldn't have demonstrated that it works and the need for water supplies is so critical in Australia. Your name has come up um, in connection with your your uncle, Rupert Murdoch, as as possibly a reason why you might be getting all this money at once without the the rigorous scientific testing. I heard that, Tanya. I think um, I don't seem to be able to get my name in the paper without my... um, family connections, which I'm proud of and delighted in, but uh, I don't see any of that's aware of this. Uh, he, he's pretty interested in the environment and climate change at the moment, and uh, very interested, but he has no direct involvement. And uh, You don't think your family connection may have uh, uh, precipitated this $10 million windfall for your not, technology? Not in the slightest, I think. Uh, not in the slightest. I can't see the connection. <laughs> The chairman of the Australian Rain Corporation, also the nephew of Rupert Murdoch, Matt Hanbury, speaking to Tanya Nolan.